in the last episode. Papa commanded us to never talk about that episode, due to the fact that why guy himself knows what a disaster that episode is. I'm sorry guys, I'm afraid we'll never see Papa's glorious movements back in action, it's just that why guy didn't want to record a gameplay without his outfit. But the week was about to end and he needs to put out content, so he forced himself to play without his clothes I mean his usual outfit, not completely naked for it's bad for the leather. Also forcing his imaginary production team to edit it in such a short time, accidentally annihilating the subtitle guys out of frustration. In short, everything on that video was rushed. Again I apologize for pulling a promise Neverland season 2 on you guys, especially to that one guy who has a hard time hearing. Papa's here for you and he has recruited a new subtitle team just for you so don't worry. I've said it before and I'll say it again, Pike is the strongest level 1 in the game, not if you take after shock though. You always want to go for the female bird when you're up against this matchup, it's useless to go for the male bird due to the amount of mobility he has, but of course, in times where the male bird wastes his tools for escape, you got to take advantage of that and grab that chicken dinner by its wings. Next time, just let Y guy back in peace. Also did you notice how Papa flash in range for a well calculated 52 damage auto? Putting Rakan exactly at 1 HP so Twitch can grab the kill with his passive for the ultimate good guy Y guy play. Unfortunate how Twitch learned the unparalleled synergy of these lovebirds the hard way. Our protagonist continues to stall the enemy bot lane to divert their attention away from the dragon. Just have to get 6 before Rakan and land his ultimate to secure the victory this game. Papa even got her flash before all that, if only his mercy and grace didn't prevail making him use his ultimate as a zoning tool, why guy's victory is certain, but if the lord of Wydra chose this path for the thickening of the plot, then so it shall. Our protagonist falls early for he thought that he still has flash and tried to hit two birds with one psychotic anxiety, but it only activated his one death power spike for the second time. With his jungle of fighting three against one, why guy witnessed the power of the newly worked Sin Zhao. They thought they can just bully him in public, until the Asian decided to fight back. Do not say anything about the lack of smite, you don't want to end up like Ed Sheeran over here.
could have gotten them both, but it's fine. Wygai had enough gold to complete his mythic item. After trying Prowler's Claw and Dusk Blade in the past episodes, our protagonist tries the third mythic in the Assassin category. If this can be a viable option for Pike, we're about to find out. First impression, the damage when you proc Eclipse is kinda underwhelming, but you don't really take it for the damage though, for it increases your dueling capability to maneuver easier in the battlefield. Also the shield that scales with AD is very good for Pike. The Love Birds' combo is just so brutal, even Eclipse's shield can't even save Papa. -pa. Still got the kill and an ad, so I say worth. How nice is Papa honestly, intentionally missing his ultimate to avoid stonking so much, preventing an ad from popping out again so it won't ruin the viewing experience for us. All hail the Lord of Wydra. Why Guy and his team is at a clear disadvantage with two of their members down, and with Yone's ultimate recently used as a warning shot, I don't think the adversaries of Why heed the warning of our lord. Still trying to pursue our protagonist, Why Guy unleashes his wrath with the help of the rat, slaughtering the infidels that refuse to listen to Wydra's warning. So is Eclipse a viable option for Pike? No doubt about it. 